Hey folks, welcome back to the channel, take a do again. If you guys have not been following me on Instagram or, you know, Reddit or somewhere else, I have, I have the links below right there. Um, I actually just flew um, one of my latest builds, which was the Armaton 65mm. And uh, we flew round about one mile. You saw in the beginning of the video how we crossed the mountains and everything. Everybody was interested to know what is this all about. I've already posted the video and the build in the channel. So this is not going to be that. Uh, this is going to be a quick show of uh, what I am using in uh, this tiny Armaton. So let's quickly jump in and show you what all uh, components I'm using and why it is the smallest, smallest, smallest again long-range build ever so when I first started building uh, the smallest uh, kind of mid-range to long-range flyer um, currently there is 85 millimeter and then there is 95 millimeter UMA X and uh, you will see that those guys they have prop guards prop guard significantly decreases the performance of a quad and lighter it is you have to shed off all the weight um, that you need I was actually going for these 2S batteries which are Ganong like 450s um, then I switched to Tattoo 450s and these are not that heavy and um, if you are making something long range I think you should keep uh, round about like um, 3S, 4S sometimes becomes too crazy on quads like this. Um, now let's open it up and show you components okay so let's jump in. Now um, you will see that I'm running a weird kind of um, 16 by 16 uh, kind of um, you know like a mount. Um, and uh, this is going to be a Flywoo Goku. Uh, so this is a Flywoo Goku stack that has a 450 milliwatt uh, VTX. So this all-in-one stack is 450 milliwatt. Now, folks, I switched from iFlight because my iFlight crapped out and probably my sixth or seventh iFlight uh, kind of FC and, um, you know, like um, ESCs and everything, for some weird reason, some we I do not have a good luck with iFlight products, so I've totally taken down all of my products that have iFlight built in. But Flywoo Goku, kudos to you folks! You guys made an amazing FC, amazing um, you know ESC and the VTX combo. Now the fun part about this is that this has tiny lights built in. Probably one of the most beautiful um, you know like FCs out there. Look how beautifully it glows and everything. So it has got built-in lights everywhere. And uh, I do have two small extra lights out here. Okay, antenna consideration. In antenna consideration, um, I'm using this uh, iFlight SIMA, um, you know, like antenna. Now, usually or ideally your antenna should be like this. It should go all the way to the top, but I was running it through the back. Maybe you can get more range if you can, um, you know, keep it uh, in the front or somewhere. But I was actually using this at the back. Um, and. Uh, in our transmitter obviously uh, we have we are running a TBS crossfire now you can run the crossfire uh, by coming making it come out from the back uh, I'll show you one stuff folks so TBS actually now offers this micro antenna um, uh, previously you know like this was like regular antennas now they offer this micro antennas this is very small so the length um, you will see that it's only half like uh, it's a very small length and it actually fits perfectly at the back but uh, folks when you're doing a little bit of long range i think this is the ideal kind of setup it should come through the middle so that your whole quad gets coverage so that was all for the setup um again if you are if you want if you have not seen my build video i'm still running the same beta fpv motors so these are 1103 6000 kv motors you can go down to 4500 um you know like uh, but this is all the setup i had but props folks um i was using hq props but this evan this is um and i think uh emax avon uh 2.5 inch props uh, with amazing thickness so look how thick they are and when you're flying the drone it actually touches um, you know the air more uh, so that is the reason I was having very good flight experience uh, with the Armaton actually this is one of my best uh, most favorite kind of quads uh, that I fly because first of all it's sub 250 and I do not fall in trouble and also you know like the quad looks amazing uh, with this and uh, and the thing is that this is one of the smallest build um, not only I have made you can see all other channels this is 
65 millimeter build usually everybody's posting 85 95 um, you know like but a 65 millimeter build that can do long range this is just uh, just awesome now you can use two 18 650s on this but then again you have to remember one thing the smaller it gets the lighter your build should be you can scrape off some weight by using some you know like uh, um, like flight controllers that are toothpick and you can use a flyboo goku on top of it but you know what i thought i would actually run flyboo goku 16 by 16 on this one 